How does the idea of building new structures and earning money by selling those structures sound to you? If this excites you, then you are in for a surprise. Hello guys, welcome to Step by Step Crypto, your favorite crypto channel. Here we take you step by step towards a deeper understanding of the crypto world. Nowadays, we hear about a lot of games which enable players to earn by playing them. But the project we have today is very interesting and might be the next big thing. If you are creative and artistic, there is no doubt you are going to love this project. To understand the mechanics and how the game works, make sure to watch the video till the end. Before we start the project review, let us better understand what is Metaverse. Metaverse, in short, is a 3D virtual world which is purely focused on making social connections inside the virtual world. In this virtual world, people can do all the normal things they do in real life, for example buying land, developing the piece of land that has been purchased by investors. Now the question that arises is, does the Metaverse exist? Well, as of now, there are a lot of developments in the Metaverse, but there is a lot of further development required for it to be called a so-called newer reality. The project which we are going to look at today is called The Parallel. It is a game based in the Metaverse which allows the players to build, edit, create new structures like buildings, cars, monuments, or even a dragon or any other animal of their choice. And believe it or not, you can sell these creations on the market as an NFT. Yes, this is the game we have all been waiting for. Without further ado, let's get into the details of this game. The Parallel is a game that is based on blockchain technology, which runs on the Binance Smart Chain. You can create new worlds or buy new worlds and start generating revenue from it. Sounds very similar to Minecraft, doesn't it? No doubt it is similar to Minecraft, but there is one thing that makes these games completely different, and that is the ability to earn cryptocurrency from the Parallel. People invest a lot of time in creating a masterpiece in Minecraft, but they cannot own it, they cannot sell it. What if we told you this can change? In the parallel, you can create your own masterpieces and own them and also sell them. All of this is possible because of the Binance Smart Chain which gives you the freedom to own the things that you have created as they are not stored on the developer server like Minecraft. Here you can actually rent, trade your in-game assets or sell them to earn profits. In this game, you can also embark on a journey to explore the worlds, meet new players in the metaverse and mine the resources in the worlds. Now you might ask, how does a player create new characters or NFTs in this game? It's as simple as drawing a simple stick man on a piece of paper. All you need is runes. Runes are the main building blocks of any character in this game. This character is called a paragon entity and the runes used are nothing but the character defining blocks. Runes are divided into various tiers and these tiers are the determining factors of the rarity and uniqueness of the paragon. The tiers in which the runes are divided are legendary, rare, uncommon and common. The lower the tier of the rune, the less unique a paragon will be. Also the powers which are possessed by the player's paragon are dependent on the type of rune used to create it. And the interesting part about all of this is that you don't have to do anything extraordinary to earn runes. A task as simple as farming can generate runes which can be used to make your own NFT. How cool is that? Some other ways to earn runes is by mining and completing quests and other challenges which are assigned in the game itself. All of this sounds interesting, but you might ask, how do we earn from this game? Well, first of all, you start off as a player and perform activities like mining to earn runes and items from the game. There are also daily and weekly missions to complete, and players in the game can also work as tenants on the lands, which are owned by landlords. And if you get richer, you can become a landlord and hire tenants to work for you. Players can also buy or create newer lands and hire more tenants to work, which in turn will result in more earnings. As a creator, you can craft new items and sell or even rent them on the marketplace to earn money from your unique creations. Besides all of this, you can also earn money from activities like staking, farming and trading. The Parallel uses the Hydra system, a technology that uses artificial intelligence for identity scanning which ensures that no two NFTs are similar or share more than 85% similarities, which means that all the new masterpieces you create will be unique and your own. This means you can earn income without being concerned about plagiarism. Now let's talk about the tokens that are in the game. To keep it simple, the game only uses two tokens, PRL and PS. The PRL token has a limited supply of 1 billion and the user can use them for activities like payment of fees, staking and farming, minting and managing their NFTs, and they can also be used for voting. Now you might wonder how one earns these PRL tokens. The answer is simple. The most interesting thing is that players can earn PRL by doing simple activities like farming and staking and more PRL tokens can be earned in special events. The PS token or Power Stone can be earned by doing daily activities which are assigned to players. 
Power Stones or PS can be used to craft and mint NFTs from the game. So in parallel, players need both the tokens to create Paragon entities. Moving on, according to the roadmap, the creators can start crafting NFTs, but as of now, the NFT trading feature is not available. Creators have confirmed that the trading feature will be introduced in the foreseeable future. This project might seem very ambitious and huge, but the credit goes to the team who are continuously working on the project. The project gives one high hopes if we look at the team behind it. All the members have a high presence and experience in blockchain technology and marketing. The team has numerous channels for Minecraft, which roughly gives them 10 million potential users then and there itself. This can ensure the higher initial user base that a game needs to get popular. Apart from this, the project is backed by various big names like Kyber Ventures, Hub, Signum Capital, Rada, CoinKu, and has raised almost $4.3 million from these capitals. If you think that is the most astonishing fact about this project, wait until you hear who the advisors for this project are. These advisors are not only just as fascinated by the concept of this project as we are, but are very knowledgeable and have a great deal of experience in their own fields. The advisors for the project are Santiago R. Santos, who is a student of gaming theory and has a 9 years plus experience in blockchain and fintech industry. Advising them on marketing is Harry Hollywood, who was a part of the PlayStation launch team and has a whopping 28 years of experience in the gaming industry. Lastly, the founder and CEO of Rada, Hung Din, who is a famous personality in the investment community. According to recent leaks and research, it is said that the developers of the game are looking forward to collaborate with other game developers to enhance the gaming experience. There are also rumors that the team is looking into the possibilities of adding a virtual reality and augmented reality module in the near future. If it happens soon, we are looking at the biggest metaverse world in the industry, and maybe we can transform into these characters and truly live inside the metaverse and world of parallel, exploring and creating things to earn a lifetime revenue. As we spoke about the AR and VR experience in the project, the developers are giving away up to 300,000 PRL to 10 lucky winners who build the best paragons and record a video of them doing random things in the real world using the AR feature. You can also win the prize, just look out for the AR challenge and create your own unique paragon and record it doing random things like dancing, walking, running, etc. In conclusion, this project does sound very ambitious and promising. It gives hope with a great vision in the metaverse. Even though there haven't been any final products released by the team, we can always have high expectations from an experienced team and strong backers to support the project. It is a really exciting project and would recommend giving it a try when the official game comes out. That's the end of today's video. Let us know how you feel about the parallel in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, and we'll see you in the next video.